We've all heard of Pluto, the distant dwarf planet made headlines when it was declassified as a planet. However, recent discoveries have shed new light on the planet. In today's video, we're going to discuss the fascinating discovery that NASA has just released of the planet Pluto. This new release came after the historic flyby by the probe of mission New Horizons about six years ago in 2015. The new visualizations from Pluto and one of its moons named Charon mark the first time in history when we have visuals from the faraway universe. So let's get going. In 2006, NASA launched a spacecraft into space with the sheer goal of exploring our distant world of ours. In 2015, the spacecraft, this spacecraft named New Horizons, fly by the dwarf planet Pluto and took some detailed images of Pluto. All the images and other data sent by the New Horizons spacecraft to NASA formed the stepping stone for achieving the major milestone of exploring more about this mysterious planet. Before this discovery, Pluto was mere blobs of color variations as it was so far away from Earth that nothing could be said about the planet. From here on, everything you will learn in this video is whatever we've come to know is because of the discoveries of the New Horizons spacecraft. Sit tight as I go through what we know about Pluto today. Pluto, a planet previously considered the ninth planet from the Sun, is now named a dwarf planet. Three billion miles away from our planet Earth and 4.67 billion miles away from the Sun, there's so many things happening on the planet's surface that it leaves you terrified. Since Pluto was so far away from both the Sun and Earth, little was known about the mystery planet. Flyby by New Horizons probe showed that Pluto has a diameter of about 1,473 miles, which makes less than one-fifth of the Earth's diameter, hence the name Dwarf Planet. The detailed visuals from the New Horizon of planet Pluto gave us so much to discuss. From ice volcanoes to very active geological conditions, the Rocky Mountains to the presence of an underground ocean and several essential gaseous elements that predict the possibility of life on the planet. So stick together as we explore and analyze the recent discovery by NASA. Talking about the ice volcanoes, the analysis of detailed images by the scientists proposes that Pluto contains ice volcanoes. Although the images do not show any active eruption of these volcanoes, however, the examination suggests that the mounds present over the surface must be caused by the volcanic eruptions. Furthermore, the study predicts the possibility that the undersurface of Pluto certainly contains any fluid that must have flowed out in case of an eruption. Not only does this find that there must be some sort of liquid present underneath, but the interior core of Pluto also has trapped heat, which is contrary to the previous findings that predicted that Pluto could be geologically inactive as it is far away from the most essential source of energy in our universe. The photographic analysis conducted by the researchers shows two essential regions that have visible mounds on the surface, which scientists predict can be cryovolcanoes. One of these mounds is named Wright Mons, while the other mound is named Picard Mons. Both these contain deep dips exactly at the peaks. The surprising fact here is that there's no evidence of more such mounds over the surface of the planet. This forces the researcher into thinking that there's quite a possibility that these two mounds were not always like this, but must have formed by the accumulation of many small mounds. What's more interesting to note here is that these volcanoes show fascinating similarities to the volcanoes on Earth. For example, shield volcanoes such as Hawaiian Island volcanoes share much of the structural similarities with the ones shown in the photos from Pluto. There is a lot that still needs to be discovered and analyzed when it comes to these ice volcanoes. However, one thing that's of key importance to note here is that all this evidence predicts geological activity over the surface of Pluto. Now, let's talk about the geological activity over the surface of the dwarf planet Pluto. According to a research fellow at the University of Exeter, while examining the figures like Polygon over the surface of Pluto, said that the planet is active geologically predicting an internal energy source. This revelation came soon after the analysis of Sputnik Planitia. Before moving forward to the geological activity over the planet, let's discuss what is Sputnik Planitia. Among other things, Sputnik Planitia 
is one of the most prominent geological features of the planet. This thick, huge, and oval-shaped zone covering the equator of Pluto spreads over 347,500 square miles while being at least 1.2 to 1.8 miles deep. To know more about Sputnik Planitia, you can check out there are various resources from where you can learn more about it. However, for now, we will move on to talking about what essentially predicted the geological activeness of Pluto. Here, the photos captured by the spacecraft suggest that some sort of sublimation processes take place that eventually forms figures like Polygon over the surface of the planet. As we move forward with discussing more of the characteristics that the recent discoveries of NASA from the New Horizons spacecraft flyby show, we cannot miss out on the mountains present over the surface of Pluto. These mountains become an even more essential discovery when you know they can be compared to the rocky mountains present over the Earth's surface. Is it just me or does anything from outer space become important and even more fascinating when we can compare it to the things we have here on Earth? Being comparable doesn't mean that they are the same as the mountains we have here on Earth. For example, one of the most unusual differences that were revealed from the images captured by spacecraft was the methane-covered snow caps. As instead of being bottom up, these snow caps were top down. Is it just me or does anything from outer space become important and even more fascinating when we compare it to the things we have here on our Earth? If we discuss the features of these mountains, they go as high as 11,000 feet. However, the surface of Pluto, which is mainly made up of gases, which we will talk more about in a while, is not strong enough to hold such gigantic peaks, so the scientists predict that these enormous peaks must be formed on the bedrock of the water. You might be wondering, did I hear it right? Did I mention the word water here? Yes, you heard it right and I did mention water ice. So what's the story behind all this, and whether there is an underground ocean on Pluto? Studies suggest that considering all the evidence we have found to date, Pluto must possess an underground ocean, which must have developed because of the meltdown of ice from the radioactive substances. Although the scientist shows quite a huge certainty regarding the presence of an underground ocean, however, we still don't have enough evidence to predict whether this was formed before or after the surface cooled to the point of freezing. Pluto has five moons named Styx, Kerberos, Hydra, Nix, and Charon. Although all five moons of Pluto were already discovered before the New Horizons mission, however, a few details about Charon became known. Charon and Pluto are close to each other, as Charon is placed only 19,640 kilometers away from the planet, causing huge tidal waves on Pluto. Till now, we went through almost every aspect of the planet Pluto, leaving behind one the atmosphere. Earlier, it was thought that Pluto has no atmosphere, and it's very unlikely that Pluto has any elements that would make up its atmosphere. But after the voyage of the New Horizons spacecraft over Pluto, it's now evident that nitrogen dominates the atmosphere of Pluto with minute amounts of other gases like carbon monoxide and methane present over the surface. Predicting the complete atmospheric makeup with certainty is exactly as hazy as the thin blue haze surrounding the planet. At this point, did it pop out in your mind as well that what color the skies must be over Pluto? Well, you would be surprised to know that Pluto has similar blue skies. Fascinating, no? Let's talk about Pluto's heart, made mostly of nitrogen ice and glaciers seemed like it was left there on purpose for someone to notice. However, as much attention it grabbed, it wasn't something peculiar in terms of what it was. It was just some glaciers, ice, and the overall surface of Pluto that looked like a heart when the New Horizons spacecraft approached Pluto. At this point, if you're wondering I went through the complete video but couldn't find anything terrifying in all this, let me tell you, we as humans whenever look go into space, exploring different planets are essentially looking for a sign of life. Pluto for the longest time has been considered one of the planets that would have no signs of life whatsoever. However, all these discoveries, which I just discuss in this video, showed that there's more to Pluto than just being a distant planet in outer space. The evidence for the presence of some essential gases, a geologically active core and surface, mountains, and an ocean beneath the surface. All these predict that there is the possibility of life out there. Hearing it from this perspective, does it sound terrifying? Maybe a little bit. That's it for today. I hope you thoroughly enjoyed the video and got all the answers you're looking for. Before you leave, I would suggest you tell me in the comments what part of the video you liked the most. 
I appreciate your feedback as it helps us improve our content for you. Also, suggest more topics on which you would like me to make more videos. Till then, take care and I'll see you in the next one.